and this again gives gives you a very balanced sense to your perspective. Also, keep in mind that you need to use contrast. You've got a little box here, right? So this box needs to be contrasted with something. Entourage uh, really works here. You know, these shrubs, like these uh, you know, fluffy shrubs, work really well into contrasting the sharp edges of this design. And also, this curved line followed by a little tree over here work really well into giving that extra bit of contrast. And also keep in mind that um, windows are very important for your design because uh, if you remember we've got the free materials rule for, for all the designs. You've got a simple white material, then you've got a textured material, whatever texture you would like. In this case it's uh, basically a wood texture. And then you've got glass to keep the two together. We've got this ribbon, this uh, ribbon of uh, glass that just goes like this and just goes around your building. And if you can see it here, it comes up, goes around, bam, follows this, and then ends here. Obviously, that's where you use the um, the facades to uh, facilitate your design because it needs to make sense. Keep in mind, you know, you need to have all four facades linked together, so they don't need to look uh, like they're from different stories altogether. They've got the same material going, they, they have the same sort of visual language to them. And you also have this small window here. Keep in mind, again, using, this, uh, using windows to um, highlight a corner is a recipe that always works. So when you've got a perspective like this, slapping on a window here or here is always going to look good. Keep in mind, these are rules, you know. The idea is to break the rules but uh, you need to, to first understand them and then get to the stage where you can actually go past them. You can get the page layout of your design. You've got the main object over here, which is the perspective. Perspectives are always going to be a bit more interesting because they are 3D, right? And then you also have got this uh, nice grid over here with uh, five yellow squares, which just show the facades, right? They're equally distant distance so that actually gives a bit of order to your to your presentation but keep in mind you don't need to have too much order or else it would be very boring so then you need to throw in some organic shapes like these shrubs over here let's move on so we've got a couple of designs now and how they would work as um, as architectural drawings so basically we're starting with this uh, design here got a lot of texture which is nice, you've got nice contrast between texture and uh, glass but you are missing the third material and you need to use it you know because um, you know it's, it's fairly easy to to get lost in, uh, in detail and uh, forget that your, your your drawings need to be valid from an architectural standpoint I would go for, for actually I would go for actually um, highlighting this area here and also I will show a bit more transparency for this uh, for these windows here, just to get a sense of uh, spatial depth. Also, you need to, to add a bit more, a bit more of a texture here because it's it's just a, a shiny, you know, glossy surface. What does it mean? Does it make any sense? It's, it's too uh, too glossy. And let's not forget these shrubs are a bit, um, you know, and the trees are this tree here is. A, it's just not there yet and needs a bit more shadowing or something to to look a bit more realistic. Moving on, this design, uh, yeah, this needs a bit more work on the facades. And also the uh, these windows here are a complete mess. They don't look as uh, orderly as the other designs. You always need to, to, to have a lot of order in your work. You know, you can't have this edge here and then this edge with a bit more to the left and the you just can't have a window that just sits on the exactly on the floor slab. You could uh, look out, look from uh, the outside and see people walking in. You can see, you can see their legs. Again, this doesn't make sense. And you can't really have a, another material here, which uh, just looks like a like a slapped-on texture. It needs to have a change of volume to justify a change in material. Other than that, the entourage looks really bad, sorry, because you can't really... Uh, that's just a recipe for, for disaster in architecture. Don't draw blue skies and green uh, bees, never. Go for abstract, right? 
and you know you also need a bit of a railing here because it looks weird like there's detailing missing moving on well the assignment is for a cube house and uh, this isn't a cube anymore obviously you've cut out this large bit of your building and it looks really bad because of that probably uh, failed this design and also for forget about this part here because you've got like three things just going in perspective three trees they just look really bad they look like um, like the the perspective is too focused and you know your, your your eye gets drawn in here and you just forget what's important as in the house also you need a bit of transparency you need the cast shadow over here to be a bit darker you know, the people look really uh, you know, like zombies, don't go for that, it just looks bad. And also, you can't have a stairway just thrown in there. It's like you've got a, a normal surface and then, and then bam, you, you, you throw in some stairs. You need to have a bit of thirds rule going on here, because it's symmetrical right now and it looks bad. Symmetry always works against perspective, so we don't want that. Well, this is an interesting design. You can walk up the stairs to, to walk in, probably. Interesting, you know. Well, you need a bit of transparency here. Again, the same problem. You uh, you need a bit more detailing, some uh, maybe some uh, slabs, some uh, concrete slabs, just to show that an alien landscape where you know you've got plastic all over the uh, floor. You don't want that. Also, the trees need a bit more detailing, and um, this part here needs either reflection, so you can see what's outside, or transparency to see what's. Uh, yeah, happening inside. To see this tree by um, by looking through the window. This texture bit here is interesting, and the levels here, yeah, could work. There's a bit of perspective mistakes here, like these perspective points aren't converging properly. This isn't converging properly, but we could ignore that for now. Right, moving on. This is an interesting cube house. It's uh, fairly simple and clear. Even the presentation is uh, black and white with a bit of yellow. This is actually a good tip. Always, uh, I mean, if you're starting off, color these uh, windows with yellow. It's going to look like the lights are turned on, and uh, yeah, it's a really nice effect. The facades look really well. A lot of contrast, a lot of little detailing here. You've got um, yeah these contrasting white and bl uh, black and white bits, uh, which look really good. Balcony, right, really nice. You've got a bit of uh, curved. Uh, lines here. You've got this uh, circular window, which works really well. Keep in mind, you need to um, to throw in uh, a bit of curves just to contrast these uh, box-type objects. All right, we've got um, a little stairway We're walking here, and then we're going inside. Good. Interesting reflection here. An interesting, uh, interesting way of uh, showing showing the uh, the foreground of your page layout because this is a very interesting page layout you've got this axle here just with the sh cast shadow on the foreground and you also got a nice contrast between these shrubs this this tree and these shrubs here and uh, the main house keep in mind you always need to hide your horizon line so every one of these designs although it's, it's with its faults um, uses something to cover up the horizon line here here, here. You basically don't want to have your your building on a flat plane, yeah. You know, just to see, you know, towards infinity. It's it's a big perspective mistake, and it's going to uh, cause trouble. Nice way of presenting this uh, this part here. Again, with a bit of yellow, just to draw in attention. Right. So that's all for now. I'm going to continue this uh, presentation with a uh, critique on three of the houses with the improved versions, right, I'll personally take each one of them and just uh, tweak them so you can get an idea w of uh, how you can take them to the next level. Right, this is Michael Neetu, take care and draw nicely.